This afternoon, we are off to the Wembley Tour Series, which is just, just a few miles away. I've been joined by Mr. George Wells. Um, we're hoping the rain is gonna stop. It's been raining all morning, uh, and last year was an extremely wet edition, uh, which made for some interesting racing and some crashes, in fact. So we're hoping the rain's gonna stop. But yeah, no, we've got a lift downstairs, so um, let's, let's get, get a move on. On I have my very own fluff, thank you. I don't need any more help. <laughs> you, need, you need a you big need help with fluff, man. <laughs> And the uh, best place for team on board was team of Anna Henson, riding really is on board for our loaded. She continues to uh, tick off that box as she goes through the line uh, once again. It's Francis Cave. How are you? And? <laughs> How's it going, man? Crystal. Chris, I'm um, Crystal. So the women's race seems to have started really, really fast, and there's just there was just riders all over the all over the circuit from from the start, and it was really hard to care. really hard to really hard to really hard to, to, um, to um, keep up with keep what up with what was happening basically. Man, this is weird. <laughs> Team Story Racing um, did really well, and EJ Harris actually won the event. Um, for the team, which is fantastic. Um, so we're going to go and have a chat with her now. Isn't that right? I uh, thought it was more left than right, to be honest with you. How was your race? That looked fantastic. Yeah, it was nice to be off the front and away from the danger zone. Did you do a whole extra lap? Yeah. Just for fun? Well, no, because someone held up a board with one on whilst ringing the bell. So I thought, well, I better not sit up just in case. And the race was all over the place from the, the beginning. What happened? Um, there was crashes in the middle of neutralised and all you could hear was carbon screeching around. There was a lot of corners where the racing line was quite slippy, so if you knew where the slippy bits were and you were a bit more risk averse, you managed to stay upright, but if you took any risks, you, that was it. Hello! Hey. <laughs> this is the um, bit of the course you want to be on for stuff going on. Like, there's... Well, you think there might be a Yeah, everyone's the taking these corners all different, so <laughs> it'll be a bit of a mess. And there's also speed bumps right there. There are speed bumps. Yeah. It does look a bit, uh, a bit interesting. Fun. It's going to be fun to watch. Should we watch it from here? I think this will be a good spot. For those of you who don't know exactly what this kind of racing is, Town Centre Crits, they're one hour, so they really encourage um, really sharp, short efforts. And uh, normally they're held on the circuits which are less than a kilometre in length. So they lap around really fast and they're really entertaining to watch. Come and speak to me. Woo! Oh, skills. How are you feeling about this one? Uh, Wembley. Round and round, it's famous, isn't it? We're famous. Home, home of the football, isn't it? Uh, it's a football, yeah. Yeah, guest team, how do you feel about your chances today? Uh, as long as it's, it's going to be fast and it's tight. It I looks like a it. little bit treacherous, but you like, you've got some skills, you know what you're doing. I like it, treacherous. <laughs> Alright mate, how are you feeling for this one? <laughs> uh, a bit nervous to say the least. Yeah. Of course, it's pretty slippy out there, but... We'll see, we've got Tommy in the National Champs jersey, so we're good to try and get him out there and get stuck in with him. So he's your he's your A plan today, is he? Yeah, he's definitely the A plan. I think this style of course suits his sort of cyclocross prowess and that, so it'll be good to see if he can get away. Uh, the group will be strung out a lot and it'll probably split right from the off, so. Yeah. Right, How you doing, mate? Oh, come on, how are you? Good luck, so we're, to it. we're here after our recce. I know, right? It's nothing like we imagined. <laughs> it's slightly wet on the course, how do you make of that? I like it, it's like cross conditions. Everyone's like really going pooing themselves. I would say sh but you can call like that. <laughs> yeah, I like it a lot. Right, but the thing is, starting at the back, it's a. Yeah. Uh, I don't think you're really going anywhere from there. So it's Absolutely. like full gas, try and get on the front, and just hope nothing goes away too early. Yeah. Oh my god, boy! How are you feeling? Well, so and of course, the team who have taken the lead by last night's race. Nervous! So your it's leading team is the green. Yeah. How much pressure do you have in your tyres? Please welcome 18. to the line. And the 18. 18. James Lambert. I don't think, I think it's too much. Payton, yeah. Charles it's Page and Well, mate, all the best. Fingers crossed you are there. Up, 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 up. Bit again. <laughs> you love this lead. Yeah, love it. Can't wait. Yeah. Be good. Why 
from the Spectre, Alex Brink, Neil Phillips. Here we go, it's three minutes before you start now. There's some nerves in that bunch. We'll see how they all get on, but hopefully they can keep it upright. Show those national police who uh, took that great win ahead of uh, Harry Tanfield and the shot. You're going to use that? Just, uh, just getting the, uh, this, the, the, the bed ready for, for the crashes. Oh, yeah, that, okay. Right, who's going to win? Who's going to win? Tom Pitcock. Tom Pitcock. Yeah. And out of your boys? None of my boys are going to win. No, who's going to come first? Uh, Jake, by the looks of it. Jake. Yeah. And then Marcus, who's right there. The race is split all over the road. Naturally, these races start really, really fast and they're so technical. So they very quickly go single file and gaps appear. But it looks like there's a group of about nine at the front. There's been a few crashes you say, but have you captured them? No, they're on the other side of oh, the track. Oh no! Yeah, I'm not allowed over there unfortunately. Red bib only. Oh no. Don't discriminate. Yeah, Appreciate. yeah. So there's like a double hairpin thing going on. But it's not racing. Seems. Have you seen any crashes? Oh! Yeah, right there. Is that Meg? There's no TV motorbike. Um, filming the riders from the front as the course is just so dangerous and slippery. Uh, that they called that one off. So I don't know if there's going to be any uh, TV coverage of this race. So we're, we're doing, we're making the coverage for them right here. Uh, across the line in the first spot, we're going to find Monte Carlo Swift, who is uh, challenging for that set three. Oh, sorry, red shirt, now it's Ben Zuri, your leader, with one that And that is why, and that is why loot. I'm not racing. <laughs> it's a piece of, I, we can clone him from this. I'll give it back to him later. Do, do you kind of wish you were racing? No. You're quite, no, no, you're, you're no. quite, quite happy to be on this side. <laughs> What's happening in this race? There's riders I all over the I, place. There's, there's a front group, and then there's like a middle group, there's like a middle back group, and then there's... And then there's groups of like ones, which aren't groups at all. They're, from what I can see, there's a group of about 10 at the front, which is this group. This is it. Come on, Alec! Which includes Alec Briggs of Techers and uh, Tom Peacock. Who's going to win? I want Alec to win. Ginger, Ginger Hero. So we're into three laps to go now. Um, Tom Peacock and Connor Swift just attacked. Tom attacked that, that sort of, well, the second time that he attacked, sort of mid-race or three quarters of the way through. You went with him. Were you sitting on and waiting? Was it a case of, look, I don't need to do anything? What, what was the thinking there behind that? Were you marking the move and just waiting? Yeah, we, uh, we had numbers up front, so there's no point in me working with Tom, and then maybe he might jump in me towards him. How was, how was that, mate? Oh, absolutely savage. Yeah? Well, Good ride. not as in intensity. It was just like so technical. Yeah. So slippy. Did you stay upright? Uh, I did, yeah, but uh, I've got about uh, 40 psi in my front tyre. 40? Yeah, 40. <laughs> Mate, it's fantastic seeing you in the red jersey. Yeah, cheers, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Are you going to hold on to it? Hopefully. I mean, this, this, I'm not the most like technically gifted rider, so uh, next uh, Thursday at Salisbury, yeah. I reckon, yeah, keep hold of it. And the handshake, ladies and gentlemen, your individual round winner on the night for Team Wiggins is Tom Pidcock. All right, Lauren, how's it going, fella? Right, mate, how's it going? I'm all right, mate. Good. Kept up right then. Just about. It was just sketchy <laughs> as. But you enjoyed that? Uh, I wouldn't say enjoyed. We're just w willing to get around. That's that's the main thing. Right. Five laps, we wanted to do it over. 
But you were the fourth man, so you had to keep going, right? Basically, I just gave everything and just about got around. Oh, so you're going to buy my camera or what, Levi? <laughs> I don't know, how much pens punch you're selling it for. <laughs> well, I mean, you haven't thrown a price at me yet. Five quid. One pound. How was that? I'm hard to get on. Wembley is, is, a, is a, it's a slippery one. How did you, how did you feel about those, those bends today? Um, yeah, well, you know, the first lap, the first three corners and three people fell off. Yes. It was uh, it's like, right, well, that's how the race is going to be then. So at that point you thought, we'll stick the hammer down or we'll back off again? Uh, no, then I just, well, I, I was in fourth wheel and then all the three people in front of me fell off, so then I just sat. Oh, I see. So I just coincidentally <laughs> found myself on the front and then I fell off, so then I was back in the bunch as well. So coming back from falling off, how was, how was, um, you got off the front with Connor Swift at the end? Yeah, uh, well, in the middle I attacked as well and he came with me. Like, I think we were the only two that could really put the, get the go to the limit on the corners. But he, he wasn't working with me then, so then and the, but then he attacked and then so then we were working for like the last six, seven laps. And then yeah, I led it into the last corner and going into the, the speed bump my back wheel stood out and then uh, I, heard, I, hit, I heard I hit the uh, <laughs> inside barrier and then yeah. sent me into the outside one. But luckily he was like the same speed as me and I, and I managed to cut my foot in and then we were just trying to race straight down there. It was close on the line but you, you got it by like yeah. what was it, about a foot? Yeah, something like that, you know, he, he, he came past me and then just, yeah. Fantastic. Managed to get and you're racing the last one in Salisbury? Yeah, yeah. Amazing, so we'll have to finish it off on a high. Well, you know, I've, <laughs> I've won one now, no, dude, we'll see. Absolutely. Been a pleasure, Levi, as always. We do Francis's hand thing. No, don't do any action. <laughs> Bye. Well, this, this hand. Well, that was, a, that was a decent race, really good fun. Uh, and actually quite nice to be not getting involved and uh, watching for once. I'm normally normally in the race. But uh, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. That was uh, the penultimate round of the Tour Series. I'm not going to be at the last round in uh, Salisbury, but uh, all the best to Team Wiggins, guys. Uh, hopefully they can bring home another team win. But uh, anyway, hope you enjoyed watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Ciao.